I often find that students struggle with identities in grade 12 because, especially for cos 2x, there is more than one option that you need to change it to. But in this lesson, I'm going to show you a structured approach that you can use to make the choice a lot easier. So what I've got here is the grade 12 formula sheet. And I've just taken out the part that's important for trigonometry. So what I was saying is that the cos 2x or the cos 2a, whatever, you see how it's got three different options. And so that makes it a little more tricky. But it's not actually, because have a look on the right hand side. We know that tan, you could think of it without really having to write it out. You could think of it as sin x over cos x. So the main thing I want to draw your attention to if we start working on the left hand side of that expression is that there is no one. I mean, there, there is a one there, but we don't want a one in the answer. So our goal is to eliminate the one. And it works really well. So starting with number one, let's say we are going to work on the left hand side. And I'm just going to write out what we have so far. It's just cos 2x over sin 2x. So we can change cos 2x into three different possibilities. That one, that one, or that one. We are going to choose the second one. And the reason for that is because the one will then eliminate. So what we're going to say is equals, equals. So I'm going to say 1 minus. Then in brackets, please, whenever you replace something on the formula sheet, just use a bracket. We're going to replace that cos 2x with 1 minus 2 sin squared of x. Then at the bottom, you see how it's sin 2x. You always want to expand that using this one. But that's a nice one because it only has one option. So it's easy to choose. So we're going to change that bottom piece to 2 sin x times cos x. Then I'm just going to move the sum over here. If I multiply that minus into the bracket, we're going to end up with 1 minus 1 plus 2 sin squared x. And at the bottom, we're going to be left with 2 sin x times cos x. Notice the 1's cancelled. And so at the top, we are left with 2 sin squared x. At the bottom, we're left with 2 sin x cos x. These twos can cancel. Sin x, or sin squared x divided by sin x. Let's look at that carefully, because I've seen some students make some mistakes here. That means, okay, so sin squared x is the same as sin x times sin x. And at the bottom, we have a sin x. So that can cancel with that, for example. And so we're still left with one sin x. So at the top, we're going to be left with a sin x. And at the bottom, we're left with a cos x. And that's equal to tan x. Then we can say, therefore, LHS, or left-hand side, is equal to RHS, right-hand side. So keep in mind, our goal was to eliminate the 1. Moving on to number 2. So I'm going to start working on the left-hand side over here. So we'll just say LHS. So I'm going to write in a different color. Now, what I, what I immediately see is that on the left-hand side, we have a cos. And it's got a 12x, so we know that we're going to use one of these double angle identities. Now, which one should we choose? Well, if you look at the answer, it has a 1. So now we're going to try introduce a 1 somehow. But also, the answer doesn't have any cos in it. So should we choose the top one? No, because that has a cos. Should we choose the bottom one? No, because it has a cos. So we choose the second one. But now, how are we going to do this? So what you need to get used to is it's called a double angle formula. So if you have cos 4x, then when you expand it using the second one, it becomes 1 minus 2 sin squared of 2x. If you had cos 10x, then that would become 1 minus 2 sin squared of 5x. If you had cos of 20x, then it will become 1 minus 2 sin squared of 10x. So this 2 is always a 2, but this angle must always be half of that angle. So if we had to expand the cos 12x, that would become 1 minus 2 sin squared of 6x plus sin squared x, and then sin squared x, oh sorry, that's a 6x over there. So 1 minus 2 sin squared x plus sin squared 6x just gives us 1 minus sin squared of 6x because minus 2 plus 1 is just minus 1 because these are the same. And so there we have our answer already. So therefore, LHS 
is equal to RHS. So the main points to consider in this video is that please, when you choose cos 2x, don't go ahead and just guess. It's going to cause you to waste a lot of time. There is always a structured way that you can do it. We're going to be practicing this for the next couple of lessons.